working. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Mainly Justin, who's sitting opposite the table, and now Luke, who just ah, walked in at the perfect moment. Live audience. To be part of the studio audience. You hear that? Well done. That is not a clapping machine. Mm. Maybe you can't hear that because the audio is not that great. That is a legit clap. <laughs> that is not clap We trap. don't have a clapper on this outdoor table. No, not yet, but it's on its Lord way. willing, it'll be coming. The clapping machine. What do you call that deck? That streaming deck? It's got a name. Stream. I think it's called Stream Deck or something like that. You stream press a series deck. of buttons and um, it will play a sound or execute a command that you've programmed it in to execute. Joseph Cook knows what I'm talking about, don't you, Joseph? Give me a thumbs up if you're watching. Shout out in the comments. You got that sorted? I'm getting it sorted. You can keep talking Very good. amongst yourselves. Well, this one's called Let's Get Fat. Hashtag Let's Get Fat. <laughs> I'm actually losing weight. It's been nice. <laughs> right. Which you might think is a bit of an unusual title for prayer and fasting. Well, exactly what kind of that. fast is this? You know, is this... It's an a e Daniel fast. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pay out the, you know, the kind of... Look. <laughs> it's a joke. The Daniel fast it's does fine. get a hard rap. It does. Because sometimes mostly. people put on weight doing the Daniel fast and that's kind of not really in the spirit of fasting. Fasting means to cover your mouth, means to abstain from eating. And um, hey, Ben, good hey. to see you. Legend. We were, um, oh, yeah, now I just want to talk to Ben, but I'll try <laughs> to stay on topic. <laughs> God bless you too. Let's get fat. What am I talking about? Well, okay, you see, Lou sees where I'm going. Isaiah 10... I won't keep the suspense going too much. Prayer and fasting, let's get fat. Isaiah 10.27 says, It shall come to pass in the day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck, and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. That's good. Seeing that I have two live studio audience people here, <laughs> the other side of the camera, what is Isaiah 10.27 in... NLT? NLT? And King James. Yeah, don't take half an hour. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's King James. A demerit for life. <laughs> Just go, actually, go Bible Hub Isaiah 10.27. And then that will show a series of different translations. Does it irk anyone else that people call the Bible like different versions of the Bible rather than translations? Does that irk anybody? Yeah, that's irk irksome. That's it's not a version of I like my version yeah. better than your version. It's like a concern. Yeah. What versions do you want? <laughs> Translations. <laughs> Translations. Uh, NLT. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's the NLT say? Big voice so the people can hear. <clears throat> In that day the Lord will end the bondage of his people. He will break the yoke of slavery and lift it from their shoulders. Give me, give me a, another look at... There's a gimme, couple gimme, of gimme. them there. Oh, this is different. Samsung. Yeah, yeah. this is Samsung. What, Samsung phone? Different yeah. Bible hub. He must have zoomed up. Oh, Here we no, go, no, Amplified. Give it. Give the Amplified a go. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, prayer and fasting, day six, let's get fat. The daily dose of God's word and encouragement. Go, Justin. Isaiah 10.27 in Amplified. So it will be in that day that the burden of I don't even know what that word is now. It will be removed from your shoulders and his yoke from your neck. The yoke will be broken because of the fat. Yeah. That's right. The yoke will be broken because Assyrian. of the fat. Assyrian. Because of the fatness. Yeah. What on earth is that about? Am I meant to be eating lots so that you I get, get fat? fat? No. So that no one no. can put a yoke on you. Because neck. prayer and fasting causes you to lose weight in the natural, or at least should, and then... It causes you to get fat in the spiritual. You know, the, the yoke, they used to oak oxen together and they would plow fields and work in treading out grain and this kind of thing. And a yoke went around an oxen's neck. Mm. But if an oxen got so fat, so strong, if his neck got so big, sometimes the yoke would break off of that thing. And that's exactly what prayer and fasting can do 
is that when you sow into your spirit in prayer and fasting and you feed your spirit man, your spirit man becomes like the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> and then it just, it can break the yoke of bondage from off of your neck. If the enemy comes and tries to put bondage on you and you've built up your spirit man, some of that bondage, it just doesn't fit on you anymore. Yeah. Your neck is just too fat. You're in the spirit. You're like, you know, you see people that lift weights and sometimes they can't like move properly and stuff. Um, Your mum no is offense, so fat, if you the lift, devil can't put nothing on her. But God bless you. Um, <laughs> big, huge. For cows to be fat, it was a good thing. Yeah, it still a, is a good a thing. Compliment. Yeah, it's a great thing to for cattle to get big. That means that there's a lot of meat That's on true. them. There's a lot. There, that, that thing is blessed. And for you to be big in the spirit realm is a good thing. Prayer and fasting can cause you to become bigger and bigger in the spirit realm. Mm. A lot of people at this time of January are sowing into their flesh by just celebrating, knocking back a few cold ones. This is not it's alcoholic. Mineral water. It's mineral water for crying out loud. But anyway, they, they're feeding their flesh and putting on weight. But how much are we willing to dedicate ourselves to building up our spirits, to building ourselves up in the Holy Spirit. That's what praying in tongues does. Yeah. Prayer and fasting, praying in tongues while you're fasting, you're sowing into the Spirit. You're building up your spirit man to make it so that the yoke of bondage just cannot fit on you anymore. Yeah. That you would carry an anointing that would destroy yokes of bondage. That's... You know, that's a good place to go from here, is Matthew. I'm thinking about um, Jacob and Esau. Remember when Jacob fled from Esau? Uh, and what God was speaking to Esau and he was saying, when, when you grow weary of his yoke upon you, you'll break it from your neck. Yeah, that's right. That's one of my favorite scriptures that I can't remember properly. It is a great scripture. I could not tell you exactly where I'll off the top it. of my head either but it is that's right have you grown weary with life being the same you know you want it to be different oh, I tell you what there's a hunger in me that wants 2024 to be different from 2023 I don't want it to be the same I don't I want it to be the best year ever and I want to do the things that are necessary to ensure that that's the case Matthew 17, sounds like fireworks. Did you Better not be, the neighbor will hit the freaking roof. Hello, Pastor Ted. Luke, hello. <laughs> Luke Dodds is watching via genuine human eyes and, and phone eyes. Getting our view account out of this world. There it is, Genesis 2740. Okay, read that. Genesis 2740, yeah. By your sword you shall live and your... And you shall serve your brother, but when you... This is God talking to Esau. But when you grow restless, you shall break his yoke from your neck. That's when it. you grow restless, you will break his yoke from your neck. That's right. It'll be there as long as you're happy for it to be there. There's but something about... When you grow restless, you'll snap that thing clean off. Right. There's something about not being just okay to cruise at the same level that you yeah. were at. To go, you know what? I want to I want to grow in the spirit. I want to grow in the spirit in 2024. I want to grow so that yokes of bondage in people's lives are destroyed. And you know what it says in um we'll just hit all the scriptures. Matthew 17. It says in verse Hey Emmanuel, you're right, you can come out. <laughs> Verse 14, that when they had come to him, the multitude, come to the multitude, a man came to him, this is to Jesus, kneeling down and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic and suffers severely, for he often falls into the fire and often into the water. So I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I bear be with you how long shall i bear with you bring him here to me 
<laughs> and Jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? So Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief. For assuredly I say to you, If you have faith as a mustard seed, You will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, And nothing will be impossible for you. However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. What if there is a kind of problem that will remain in your life and will not leave except by prayer and fasting? It's legit. Uh, are you restless enough to say... Snap that yoke. I'm, I'm going to do three days. I'm going to do... Uh, Lord, I'm not okay for 2024 to be a repeat of the trouble, of the difficulties. I, wa I want to enter into your promises to a greater level. It's... I tell you what, mm. <laughs> oh yes, I, <laughs> I want to read some of the scrolling for, for the comments here. Nice comment, Luke. <laughs> I, what did he say? Very good, amen. Very good, amen. You can say it, you can say it out loud. <laughs> 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 <You're sitting> just... <laughs> Come on. I <laughs> no, but I don't. I don't. I want to see... More bondage breaking, anointing power released yeah. through our lives in this year than the previous years. Yeah. Amen. Man. Rather than feeding our flesh at a time in January where the world is relaxing, we're pushing the plate away and feeding our spirit man so that it grows up big, so that the bodybuilders will not be impressed by us when we walk past. They'll go, that person has some neglect for their body. They don't, they don't, do they even lift? But if I could see in the spiritual realm, I will look at them and go, what a weakling. Because they invest so much into their body. But in the spirit, it's just not there. You know, that's, that's really true. You, when you pray and fast, you lose muscle mass. Your body um, eats the muscle before it eats a lot of the fat. So... I probably shouldn't tell people that are like really trying to get sick gains and that kind of thing, but apparently if that's the way. Way that's not a good reason anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't become, don't, don't get like bulimic on me. It's no, not about the body. Physical exercise profits a little, but godliness profits to all things pertaining to this life and the life to come. We we fast not because of physical things. We're fasting because of spiritual things. There are spiritual yokes mm -hmm. that are in place in people's lives, That's and right. we want to see those spiritual yokes broken. That's right. Because when they get broken, then the person gets released, and it makes it has an effect both for now and for eternity. They get free. Yeah. Spiritual yokes. In fact, what do you call that um, when people don't eat? Anorexia. Anorexia. That is, many times, that is a spiritual yoke that is around people's neck. That's right. P possibly not one that will be broken through prayer and fasting <laughs> from the individual that is bound by it. But through your prayer and fasting, we pray that when you lay hands on them, that that yoke of bondage gets broken. That's right. In Jesus' mighty name. That's right. You know, it just disturbs me that... I remember hearing of someone in a, in a Christian school in the very city in which we sit, Brisbane at the moment, and they were in a Christian school and they, it was, I thought, a decent Christian school. Had a good name. I won't name it, but it had a good name and I believe that they believed in certain things. And it grieved me to hear of one of their students that was struggling with anorexia and to the point where she died. She actually died from anorexia in high school. I'm like so annoyed at that. I'm like, that is so wrong. Like, could we not do what's necessary to break through for her? Lord, why could not we cast that out? Why could we not break this yoke of bondage? Why could we not get breakthrough? What if Jesus would answer in the same way that he answered in this case? He would. He's that this case is because of your unbelief. If you will say to this mountain, be removed, it'll go. But this kind comes not out except by prayer and fasting. That's right. 
Well, I I like food. I do. It's nice. But I like people more than food. People are the most valuable thing on the planet. And if we can do what's necessary to help them, believe God for them, then let's do it. Let's push the plate away periodically. I'm thinking, you know, this is very, I'm still thinking, of how much more to fast, Full fast. throughout the year. Because I don't just want it to be... Just January only, and yeah, then because January would be like I hate January. <laughs> January sucks. Get fat for the rest of the year, store up those reserves, <laughs> and then go back to January, which is your spiritual time. Oh, that's terrible. I, yeah, I don't want that. I actually I want to be anointed with fresh oil the entire year. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Indeed. If you're watching and you've never received Jesus Christ, then now is a great day to do that. God loves you so much he sent his son. That's, you know, I, I didn't send my son to die for you. But God loves with Nor a special we. kind of love. He's got a great plan for your life. And, you know, if you'll just say this prayer and mean it from your heart, I believe that God will make himself real to you. And that's what we want. We don't want it to be a religion. But just say this out loud and mean it from your heart. Jesus died for you and he... He died on Calvary's cross and took your sins on his back and then rose from the dead three days later, conquering death. And now he has a death-conquering anointing to place around you as you get to know him more and hunger and thirst and pray and fast and love him and worship and just enter into the sweetness of the relationship that you can have with him. And it's so wonderful. Why don't you pray this with me? Dear God, I've heard about you. If you really died on the cross for me, then I want to say thank you and receive you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Awesome. Let us know if you prayed that for the first time. We'd love to hear from you. You never know where the video may go. It's true. Like goes share to, the broadcast. Goes so to that, Philippines. Oh no, it goes, goes everywhere. To India. Yep, that's good. Uganda. God bless you, Uganda, Philippines, wherever. Yep. You know. We got Kenya over there in the Kenya in the corner. <laughs> Emmanuel. Thanks for the shout out, Emmanuel. As he took another <laughs> bite of his biscuit. There's a robin in there. <laughs> Oh yes, There's there will be temptation to, to break to fast. Me. For Jesus it was bread. For Louise it was KFC. Yes. For me it was a glorious steak in which someone had slaughtered one of their own cows. Yep. But I, I wanna I wanna do I wanna see a yoke breaking anointing we in all, effect. We all have to make sacrifices. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Why don't you pray for everyone, Lou, and, and we'll okay. say goodbye for today. All right, well, Father, thank you for your people. Thank you for your word that you have ordained these things in your word that we can hook into and see results from in our life. Thank you, Lord, that um, you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so when we read these things in your word, we know that's still what you're like. And if we come to you and say, why couldn't we do it? You still say, because you are unbelief. So we, we love you and we thank you for your honesty because love is honest. And it, and, it, and it bears all things that love is honest and you'll tell us straight. So we, we thank you for that, Lord. And um, help us to, help, us to uh, help our unbelief. Help us to do what you've called us to do. And we thank you for this time of prayer and fasting that helps us bend more into what you, you would have us to be. Thank you, Lord, for the wind of your spirit. Thank you for everyone watching and for everyone believing for a breakthrough. I pray they receive it in Jesus' name. Yes, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Don't feel condemned if you haven't yet received it. No, that's if right. you haven't yet seen a breakthrough. Like that's one of the things, you know, just ask yourself where else would you go? That's right. What have you got to lose? And he, t he doesn't, it's just because he said because of your unbelief doesn't mean that he hated their guts. He loved them. He died for them. But yeah. He told them straight. And so... That's it. He tells you straight. It's just not a reflection on how much he loves you. It's yeah. just what the Bible says. So 
these broadcasts did start as us saying, what does the Bible say? That's what they were called. Um, so that was just, don't shoot the messenger. This is what the Bible says. If you don't care yeah. what the Bible says, then why get upset? So Yeah. Yeah, that's just what the that's Bible right. says. That's so. right. So be encouraged from God's word. Don't. <laughs> And Matt, don't allow not. the enemy to use God's word as a stick to beat that's you right. over the head. That's right. It's not a measuring stick, but it, it is something you can It go does to. bring correction, that's but right. it doesn't bring condemnation. That's right. You know, correction brings you to the place of repentance where you change your mind and then you pass through the doorway into life. And that's where we're meant to live. We're meant to live in, in life, in fullness of life. Repentance is just the act of changing direction. Oh, yeah. oh, wrong mindset. Okay, I change that. Thank you, Lord, for revealing that to me. I repent. I'm going in a different direction. That's right. Come into life. Now, Knox has joined us. Hello, Knox, Charmaine. Archie Cass from TGS. Booyah. Like boy. Let's go, Archie. How you going? Good to see you watching. <laughs> well, very good, fantastic. We'd love to see you on it um, from time to time. We're broadcasting 5:30 p.m. for the next, well, 14 days straight. So eight more days. Eight more days. But who's counting? Come on now, we're six days in. This is this has not even been that difficult. Oh no. <laughs> St. Matthew. No, I, I'm enjoying myself right now. <laughs> I tell you that. I am. This is wonderful. This is awesome. You know, I'm loving it. It is good. So 5.30 p.m. Facebook Live on the, the... I do my best. I'll broadcast it on my page personally first, and then I'll attempt to share it on Breakthrough Center website if my handy... I've Chief Administration that. Officer can facilitate that. I did that. Who's sitting right next to me. Thank you. So, and then if you're anywhere in the Toowoomba area, then come and see us Sundays at 10 a.m. at 15 Blake Street, Wilsonton. We'd love to see you face-to-face. -face. Nothing beats face-to-face. -face. Right. Did you see that post? Yeah. Shout oh, out to our yeah. live audience. Yeah, that's right. Thank you for some... <laughs> <laughs> we are incredible. <laughs> They're so humble. What was someone calling it today? A patty cake clap. What oh, was he calling it? Pat like, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Trying to inspire you to clap harder. Yeah, it sounds patronizing. I want your Too hands to be red. I want your hands to bleed. <laughs> yes. You're clapping that loud for Jesus. No. Okay. It's, you can get too far. <laughs> you can go too far. That's right. There is an ease coming into the presence of God, but there is a certain zeal as well. There's a certain passion. That's right. You enter his courts with praise and thanksgiving yeah enter his gates with thanksgiving and courts, courts with praise is that right sounds good or is it courts and then gates somebody help no, me gates is first do we gates sorry i mean obviously with thanksgiving My and his courts with praise and temper is probably a little <laughs> close to the surface sorry <laughs> that's for another broadcast <laughs> That's for another broadcast. Yeah, you know, like because the flesh will just you'd be like, "What the heck? I'm going through this time of prayer and fasting. Why? Why is? Why are all these things? They're already there. It's just now that your flesh is revealing itself. It's not happy, so it's and God just scoops that stuff off the top. So that's I'm so thankful true. for that. But yeah, like don't be surprised, Lou, if when you're fasting and praying that stuff like comes to buffet your flesh and just to towel you up while you're weak, weakest. That's what the devil's like. He is the kind of rat that waits 40 days until you've not eaten and then says, hey, why don't you turn the stones to bread? Yep. That's what he's like. So yep. don't be surprised if your flesh is like, oh, life sucks. And he can use the, <laughs> even try to use the scripture to do it. Too. That's right. And then, yeah, don't be surprised. Just allow God to scoop that dross off the top and continue to purify you. And use the scripture right back. Yep. But just finish the scripture because it's not, it's not a word that brings condemnation. And if you're feeling condemned, read right through to the book of Revelation and see that one day there'll be no more tears, no more pain, <laughs> no more suffering. Endure. That basically we win. That's it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's go. It was our indoor awesome. live audience. Thank you for <laughs> checking on us, I think. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's probably been a, no a longer one because... <clears throat> Justin, Luke, and Emmanuel here, so we're... Yeah, and someone else is watching the kids. Come on. Yes. Oh, yes. 
Brilliant. Make Love sure, you all. Make sure. Good to see you, Nathan Essex. Thanks for watching. Make sure if you're still doing the prayer and fasting that you do a little, do more research on it because we don't want anyone to, you know, die. Yeah. Pass out. So make Operating sure. Operating heavy machinery. That's right. Make sure that you're using wisdom. Make sure that if you, you know, obviously if you're pregnant, breastfeeding, if you're under 18, if you're elderly, there's exemptions. And this, Absolutely. of course, is something that we're not forcing people to do. No. But you just suggesting it um, and showing you what the word says. But there's plenty of stuff out there. Um, really good teaching on prayer and fasting. Yeah. And we never got it, really. <laughs> so you're bringing it up there's now. A, there's we a, never there's got a great book by Ted, Ted Shuttlesworth, Shuttlesworth Jr. Jr. Very good book. And there's a yeah. mountain of stuff on YouTube by him and um, Jonathan Shuttlesworth and Ted Shuttlesworth Sr. All of it's out there on the YouTube. And I point you to those guys because... By far the best teaching I've ever heard on prayer and fasting is from them. Way better than <laughs> But, you know, it's YouTube's a great playground when you my drive next, it properly. My neck's getting fat. Yeah, yeah. My neck's getting fatter. Snap tell you that, that much. Yoke. Even though I'm losing weight, I'm not. I'm gaining weight. Spiritual in the spirit. neck. It's I getting feel fat. It. Oh, yes. Sick one. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. Loosen the bell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eva, hello. Hello. Mariah's doing well. Very, very well. She's she's doing good. We're going, we'll be leaving shortly for night meeting. So. That's right. Love you all. See you in person this Sunday at Breakthrough Center, 10 a.m. Mm-hmm. If you can't. Bye. Bye. See ya.